VTubing has become a massive beast in terms of size. There's just an overwhelming number of VTubers, many of which are based on beasts. From cats and dogs to rabbits and dragons, there's a wide variety of characters and personalities out there. Many of the most well-known being under the talent agency Hololive. But in my opinion, the biggest beast are the fans. From what I've seen, Hololive fans are some of the most dedicated and passionate fans out there. Now there's many ways you can express your love for something, from fan art to songs, but in my opinion making a fan game takes it to another level, or in gamer talk, a new stage. A fan game requires so many elements to come together, the art, music, game, and sound design, on top of an interesting or creative concept. And then you have to have the coding skills or knowledge to make it all work. So even though I'm not that familiar or invested in Hall Live, I can't appreciate the effort that goes into making a game, especially if it's fun. Which is why today I want to highlight one particular fan game called Flair Nui Nui Quest. Now if you don't know what a Nui Nui is, don't worry, I've already put on my detective hat for you. Now if you're a little rusty on your Hololive lore, Flair is part of the third generation of Hololive members, also known as Hololive Fantasy. In fact, all of the active members of Fantasy appear in this game, as well as a few from other generations. But there was, Flair's last name is Shiranui, so I guess Nui Nui is an inside joke amongst fans, or maybe it's just really fun to say. So what kind of game is this? Basically it's a 2D action platformer very similar to Mega Man, a franchise near and dear to my heart. In fact, you can see Mega Man's DNA throughout the game and was likely a big inspiration. Also, it says it right there in the description. So like Mega Man, you shoot little pellets, charge your weapons, do the iconic Mega Man slip and slide, as well as get new weapons based on the bosses you defeat. And the bosses are of course the other Hololive members. While they might seem cute and not very intimidating, if you watch some of these VTubers, you'll know that they can be very chaotic and malicious. Perfect for a boss battle. In order to stop Sakura Miko's hostile takeover, you'll venture through five wonderful stages, starting with a lush green forest, and maybe play some rock, paper, scissors. If you manage to inflict enough pain on Pecora, you'll be able to shoot carrot missiles. But there you go to a deadly casino straight out of Sonic, where you'll fight a couple of rounds with Sakura Miko, then a port city with a little sand castle. Just don't piss off Minato Aqua, she's really scary. You'll then get to ride a jet ski and splash on some water and waves of bullets at Hosho Marine as you engage in naval warfare. Afterwards, there's a bamboo forest and a Japanese castle where you have a sword fight with Ayame and Fubuki showers you with ice, as well as a surprise fight immediately after with Noelle. Pretty unfair, she doesn't let you heal before bashing your head in. Uh, if you lose, you'll move on to the next stage, but you won't be able to unlock her as a secret character. Fortunately, there is a stage select, so you can try again. Finally, you reach the Demon Castle, and after a couple of more fights, you face off against Demon Sakura Miko. Defeat her, and Flair becomes the Demon Lord, which is actually the bad ending. Uh, I didn't do it myself, but to get the good or true ending, you'll need to beat the last stage with Noel and destroy the demon behind this mess. Overall, each level is filled with lots of nods, references, and secrets to Hololive, uh, if, even if you don't know what they are, they're all very cute and charming, and you can tell this was made with a lot of love and attention to detail. It's not too long, with my first run through taking a little over half an hour, but there's a bunch of achievements you can go back and try to get, as well as the true ending. This game was made by a creator called Soulpix, hopefully I said that right, and was released for free on itch.io, so if you like action platformers, want to jam to some great music, or see some Hololive girls in pixel form, I highly recommend you check it out. And full disclosure, I played and recorded this back when it first released in February. Since then the game has a lot more content added to it with more still being developed, so I'm sure there's a lot more to discover and fight. So yeah, that was a quick look at Flare Nui Nui quests. If you want to support me, you can send me some love on coffee. but as always, thanks for watching, subscribing would be awesome, and I hope to see you on the next video. Buh bye bye